All right, there's expanding and there's contracting. And this one is going to be a expand problem. Log 25 over y squared. Please expand that as far as you possibly can. If you don't remember what I'm talking about, divide goes with subtract. Break it into two logs. See if you can go from there. Now, one of the things that's kind of weird is you're supposed to expand, but you're also supposed to simplify. Like if you ever got this in your answer, log of 10 plus log of 20, uh, you're supposed to expand it as far as you can and simplify it. And this one right here, that's equal to something really simple. That's equal to 1. Because there's really a base 10 there, right? And the flows through are the same, the answer is the exponent. And so you're supposed to make it bigger, but that actually makes it smaller. But you're forced to do that. Even if you're expanding and you're thinking, well, it's smaller to write a 1, you have to simplify. So it's expand and simplify. So that would end up being 1. And this 20, can you break it up into something times something? Yes, you can. A lot of people think that you're only supposed to do that if it's like 81 and you can make it 9 squared. You should not leave it as a 20. You should say, what can I make that into log base or log 5 times 4 would work, for instance. And that 4 is really what? Two twos. So let's break this up first. This would be log 5 plus log 4, and that wouldn't be done. Because the arguments have to be cleaned up further. And the 4 can break up. The 4 could break up into what? 2 squared. And 2 squared, if you write it like this, you will quickly realize, oh, the 2 can go down in front. 2 log 2 plus log 5. So something like this is not nearly done by exp for expanding. All right, that was not the problem I just gave you. That was just a little side note there. Okay, now here's the problem I just gave you and see if you did it right. You should have said log 25, which we will finish more in a second, minus log y squared. That's a good starting point. Then you got to deal with the exponents and drop those down. The 2 comes down here, 2 log y. And this 25 can be rewritten as 5 squared, and then 2 can come down here. 2 log 5 minus 2 log y. How do I tell if I'm done? The arguments are prime. The arguments are prime, you know you're done. And I can't break up a y, and I can't break up a 5, so I know I'm done. Raise your hand if you have that one right. Okay, good. Just a reminder of what we've been doing on the expanding front. All right, next thing is talking about change of base. Do you get that this one has a base 3? Okay, you can't put it into the calculator the way it is because your calculator can only do base 10. Do you remember me telling you early on how to put that into the calculator? Log 10 over log 3. Now, a lot of people don't get why that is considered a base change. But think about it. The base here was a 3. And don't say the base here is a 3. It's not. What's the base in the, in the boxed one? What's the base there? That's base 10. So when you did this, you changed the base. It used to be a base 3. Now it's a base 10. Because if you just say log, you mean base 10. And the only reason it's working on the calculator is because the calculator can do base 10. All right, but here's the really blow your mind part. You can actually change it to any base you want to by just picking any base you want, and it'll work. The fact that it's a ratio means that no matter how you change the base, when you divide them, even though the numbers will both be bigger, if I use, for instance, you know, log base 30 or whatever, I can change that to any base I want. So base 10 is only convenient because you're putting it in the calculator. But if you use this little formula where you take the log of the argument over the log of the base, basically just draw a line like this in your head and go, oh, log base 10 or log base 3. You have got this change to any base you want. What's another common base that your calculator uses sometimes? Log base E. How do you write those? Ln. Do you get why this would also work? Because that's just log base 10 versus log base E. And I just told you, you could use any base you wanted to when you do these base changes. All right, so here's a really complicated sounding problem. But it's actually very easy.
I'm just going to say log of 4. I want you to write that with a base of 29. Well, what base does it have to start with? Base 10. So if we rewrite it just normally, we go log 4 over log 10. And there, I've rewritten it, but it doesn't have base 29. It's got base 10. So all i got to do is change the base to a 29. There we go. Log base 29. Get that? Let me give you another one like that. Let's say I had log of 2 thirds. Change that. This guy's, wait, log base 3 of 2 thirds. Change that one's base to base E. Base E. Change this to a base E. Whenever they say that, I just think, how would I put it on my calculator? My advice, draw a line kind of like that. And there it is, log 2 thirds over log 3, except that's base what? 10. And I said to be in base what? E. So I can just go like this, base E. Or what's the faster way to write it? LN 2 thirds over LN E. Now remember how we were doing all of those where you can kind of like compress them down? This cannot be compressed down. It's different. Okay. If I compress this one down, it's a log divided by a log. Okay, if I think of it that way, it, this is totally different than this. Ln of 2 thirds over E. That's not the same thing at all. Do you get that? That's not the same thing? All right. Okay. I'm just saying these are not those compressing problems or condensing problems or expanding problems. These are different. These are changing the base. All right. Okay. Uh, this next one. I'm supposed to expand these as much as possible. Ln of x plus 2 squared over, no, not all over. That's different. Just over this part right here x plus 1 squared. Try expanding that one. First thing you should be breaking up is this divide. Make it not be a divide problem anymore. Instead change it to a subtraction. That will expand it. So then if I'm going to make it a subtraction, it's ln of the first thing minus ln of the other thing. And of course I can't leave it that way. Got to expand it all the way. So should I actually square this out and make it x squared plus 4x plus 4? No. Just take 2 power and put it where? Mm -hmm. 2 goes here. And then this 2 right here goes right there. Now, that x plus 2 that's in the argument, we've never actually dealt with that. You don't do anything to it. You can't change a plus like that into a multiply. That would be totally different. Logs don't work that way. Do you get to what I'm saying? If it was this, if it was ln of x times 2, we could break it up into ln x plus ln 2. But if the stuff in here is an add, you cannot break those up. You leave those alone. Okay? So this one's done. That's as far as you'd go. Raise your hand if you had it right. Okay, good. All right. Hasn't been terribly challenging. Uh, we have one more day of new stuff tomorrow, Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I believe I'm going to be gone. So that means tomorrow I'm going to make it a long day. I'm going to make sure I cover everything you need to know for the test. And then, I believe, Wednesday will be a work day for you. And then, Thursday, I'll be back. If you have trouble, you can come in in the morning on Thursday, because Thursday is your test. Okay, and I'll do the big review for that tomorrow. 
Okay, that's the plan, and I think that's all I have for the video for today. Okay, sorry about that. I am going to re record just a little bit more. Let me do the first problem. I always know that I'm, I probably haven't taught it quite well enough if I get a question on the first problem. Shh. Okay, focus. I know I stopped for a moment there, but that cell phone goes away now. We're, we're continuing. All right. I know it seemed like we were done, but I, we're not. Number one, we're going to do together to make sure you're doing all right. I know most of you know that when we have two things multiplied, split it up. Well, if you got three things multiplied, just split it up into three parts. So why don't you take a shot at what you think number one should be. I'm going to write the problem on the board, and then you see if you can tell me the right answer. You just get a little too laid back. You need a pencil. You need to be actually answering the question. Oh, good. Okay. Tell me what to write. Thank you. And what does it break into? Log 25. Uh, close. We want to break it up into three things. There you go. Yes. And now I can deal with the exponents. I just broke it up into three parts because there were three parts inside the argument. You know what I mean? All right. So now, help me handle the, the uh, exponent part. Mrs. Ms. V, would you take it from there? All right, so that's 2 in front of the log, so you know it's 2 log 5. So you're really saying this is 5 squared and the 2 goes out in front. All right, 2 log 5. Can you leave the middle one alone? I agree. So the last one, you take the um, three and take the You are correct. There's your final answer. 2 log 5 plus log x plus 3 log y. And how do I know if I'm done? Check all of the arguments and see if they are what? Prime. That number's prime. I'm done. That number's, well, I can't break it up anyway, so I guess I can call it prime. As long as you can't break it up further. What you're mainly looking for is make sure you don't have something like a 15 right there. Because if you had a 15, you'd have to break it up into 3 times a 5. And then break, yeah, that'll make it expand further. Okay? That'll be kind of like what happens on number 2. You'll have that 100, which you can't leave it as log 100. Yes. Uh, good question. Let's do, let's do number three. Would you read it to me? Okay. All right. So then that means to me we should, first of all, change this divided by x into a minus. Okay. But I know that anytime there is a fraction, and you should know this too, anytime there's a fraction, there are parentheses there. There really are. That's important to understand. Because there's, if you were to type in this on your calculator without the parentheses, it would say 1 plus 5 sixths. You know what I'm saying? So you've got to know that there are imaginary parentheses right there because otherwise you won't get the right answer. All right, so anyway, there are parentheses right there whether you know it or not. And now let's take this divide by x thing and break it up into minus all ln x. Now your question is, I think, whether I can do anything with that x squared plus 1. What do you think? How about if it had been x plus 1 squared? Do you think I could do something then? Yeah. Okay. So is there any way to make it something like that? No. So therefore it's done. Can't break that up. It's a good question. If this had been a multiply in there, then I could have broken it up, but it's not. It's a plus. So we have to leave it. All right. Change the base on 5, 6, and 7. That's just as simple as it seems. Uh, number 9, it says, assuming that they're positive, use properties of logs to write it as a sum or a difference of logs. Basically, they just want you to expand it. I think you can do that. Okay, okay. Well, that's a fair question. How do I expand log, this is number 9, log 8 uh, xy? And obviously, if it had just been a number like 7, prime number, it had been simpler. You'd expand it to log 7 plus log x plus log y. This, this is just log 8 plus log x plus log y. Would you agree that's a good way to start? Mm -hmm. Now, you tell me what to do with the 8. You can do this. 8 is not 4 squared. It's 2 to the 3rd. So, now I know you know what to do with it. Just finish the deal, okay? All right. This one's easy enough that I want to give you the rest of them as stuff that you can do. Remember on the back side, there's a lot of square roots, like on number 12. 
I just want to help you with the square root thing because if you don't know that, you're toast. It's ln of the square root. By the way, did you know that square root of x plus 1 means to the 1 half power? I hope you know that. So in other words, all I did is rewrite the question here. Now here's what I'd say first. ln of x plus 1 to the 1 half power over x squared. I just rewrote this as that. Square roots are to the 1 half power. So, anyway, once you've got it that way, it's easier to see what to do with that 1 half power. That's a power, and so it's going to go down to the front and everything. But first we've got to split it up. This divide here should turn into a subtract. and I'm going to change it into two logs being subtracted. And then this 1 half can go down to the front. All right. I think that's enough help. The rest of the time is yours to work. Please feel free to ask if you need more help.